Os produtos resultantes da Usina Santa Terezinha. Usina Santa Terezinha's Products demand a complex system that involves people, equipment, environment and supplies. E é por isso que estamos aqui. That's why we're here, to show you the steps of the process of producing sugar, ethanol, bioelectricity, and byproducts. No matter the final product, the production process starts on soil preparation. Even though it's a long process, it's imperative for a good crop. Firstly, it's necessary a topographic survey of the area. Assisted by a GPS, a technician collects specific data and later draws a map to demonstrate precisely the areas where the cane will be planted. Second step consists on taking a sample from the soil, then Physical and chemical analysis are performed and this results on a recommendation for fertilizers to regulate the soil. Later on, the current culture on the expansion and reforming areas go through a process called desiccation in conformity with all agronomic recommendations. The operation requires specific equipments. Using GPS technology, a geo-referenced map is obtained and from it, it is drawn a road in soil conservationist planning. Following this, operations of preparation of the soil are performed. This involves harrowing, subsoiling and corrective application. The next step is planting. The fertilizers used is formulated on the company's own structure according to nutritional demands of the sugar cane. The filter cake, byproduct on industrial process, source of organic material, is enriched and spread on the planting fields by using adequate equipments. The mechanized plantation made by machinery with cutting-edge technology furrows fertilizers and distributes homogeneously the seeding cane within the furrows and covers with defensives. The harvest of seeding cane is performed by a harvester duly prepared to avoid mechanical damage on the gems. This would affect directly the germination of the cane, then they are transported by appropriate vehicles. The varieties of cane to be planted are raised on vivarium following rigorous sanitary control which will form the company's cane field and they are selected according to the environment of production. On the ratoon areas, fertilizers and correctives are applied on the soil according to agronomic recommendations preparing the cane fields for the next crop. At low productive areas, Fertilization is performed using venous and byproduct of ethanol production, which is nutrient rich. The application is done by sprinklers on various doses. During the formation of the cane field, agronomic reports are issued listing the main agricultural inputs to be used on specific area, together with recommendation of application within the safety norms. To pests control on the sugar cane culture, both biological and chemical process are used. The most common pests on sugar cane are the borer and the spittle bug, Mahanarva fimbriolata. The borer is controlled biologically by breeding in laboratories the wasp Cotesia flavipis, which is the natural predator of this pest. All this caution since soil preparation until plantation has one purpose, a good productivity. So let's find out how does the harvesting process works. The harvesting process starts with an aerial application of maturity substances following technical and agronomic safety criteria. The purpose is to speed up and upgrade the maturation of the cane aiming a higher index of TRS, total reducing sugar, per hectare of the cane field. Cane samples are taken for analysis on laboratories and the results are input on softwares that manage the harvest. The harvest is made by modern and mechanized harvesters, as well as transshipment and transportation machinery that are equipped with onboard computers. After loaded, the cane is transported to the industry. 
The logistics of cane to be crushed is managed by artificial intelligence softwares, which uses algorithms to optimize the flow of vehicles. At the industry, all trucks are weighed and some are randomly selected to be sampled by a sounder in order to certify at the laboratory the quantity and quality of the raw material and specifically verify the saccharosis percentage present on each sample. After discharge, the trucks go through weighing machines on the exit of the industry to check the net weight. To assist a driver, a light panel indicates the destination and routes the truck must take to go get the next cargo. A cana já está na indústria. The cane is already on the industry. Now, the industrial process starts and will lead to production of sugar, ethanol, energy and byproducts as bagasse, venice, yeast and filter cake. The industrial process of the cane starts after discharging the raw product on the conveyor machines. This is where mineral and vegetal wastes are disposed while the cane is still dry or, on next stage, washed away. The cane is taken to the main conveyor belt of preparation system, which leads to the juice extraction on the crushers. This operation is made by crushing and squeezing the cane. The juice extracted from the cane may still contain some wastes. To deal with this, there is a treatment which involves sulfitation, liming, heating and decanting, separating all wastes resulting on the clarified juice. This material passes through a filtration process from which derives the filtrated juice which returns to the process and the wastes, now being the filter cake, are used as fertilizers. On the next step, the juice is taken to the evaporation process where the water is gradually taken from it up to the time which it becomes syrup. Concurrently, the steam generated is used in various other processes throughout the industry. The following process is decoction. The syrup is concentrated until it becomes a gross paste. During this stage occurs the saccharosis crystallization into sugar crystals at a size previously intended. The gross paste, constituted by the solid sugar crystals, has to be segregated to the residual juice which is in liquid state. This is achieved by centrifugal process to separate the liquid from the solid. After centrifugation, the sugar is sent to the dryers, chilled and conducted by conveyor belts for storage or transshipment, being loaded and transported to the retail terminal in Maringá. In the meantime of sugar production, the ethanol production is performed. Part of the clarified juice and residual honey originated on sugar manufacture are mixed with water to prepare the wine. The yeast is added to this composite with metallic and cylindrical tanks. At this stage of the ethanol production starts the alcoholic fermentation. This is the most complex operation in the process due to all rigorous demanded controls. It takes approximately 7 to 8 hours for the yeast to metabolize the sugar converting it into ethanol. After that, this composite called fermented wine goes to centrifugation in order to separate the yeast. After the separation, the yeast is treated and reused on the process. The surplus is commercialized. The distillation is the separation of ethanol contained in the must by evaporation and condensation, producing the hydrous ethanol and special ethanol. The anhydrous ethanol is produced from dehydration of hydrous ethanol using modern technologies as isotropic agents and molecular sheaves. This last one divides the substances by the difference of weight of the molecules of the ethanol and water using a ceramic agent as separated called zeolite. From distillation is obtained one byproduct called venice, which is used in fertilization. After these stages, the ethanol is stored in tanks and later loaded and dispatched to the railroad terminals. Among the byproducts of the cane, the bagasse has one important role on the productive process of Usina Santa Teresinha's units. 
The sugarcane bagasse extracted during the crushing process is used as fuel to generate energy necessary to all industrial processes. It generates mechanical energy which is used to set preparation of cane for crushing and thermal energy used on processes of sugar and ethanol production and even electrical energy for the industry consumption and the surplus may also be commercialized. The energy production uses boilers, turbines, and high-performance generators operated by control systems and online monitoring by advanced technology hardwares and softwares. The energy distribution is made by substations and transmission lines that interconnect the productive units to the concessionaires. The measuring, which is made joint with the competent authorities, is made via internet in real time. The industrial processes are monitored and controlled by the Integration Operations Center, interconnecting all chains and controlling instruments of industrial complex by optic fiber, also using video cameras, advanced operations and artificial intelligence softwares. To follow up industrial process, rigorous audits are performed as well as analytical and microbiological control. A modern laboratory structure complies and delineates quality, safety norms and procedures which are rolled by Quality Control Committee who reports to Cooperate Governance Committee. We have now the product finished. That's when the logistic of the group starts. All transport of sugar and ethanol produced on Usina Santa Teresinha's mill go through logistic terminal in Maringá. By the time it arrives, each truck is weighed. The weighing is done at the entry and on the exit of the terminal, aiming a quantitative analysis of the product. All sugar that reaches the terminal is discharged on hoppers. The product may be placed on the warehouse or it can be loaded directly on the wagons that will take the sugar until PASA terminal in Paranaguá. Either on sugar, as on ethanol discharging, samples are taken from the trucks. Each sample carries information like time and date of the cargo and the mill where it came from. These samples are forwarded to the laboratory where further analysis are performed on sugar and on the ethanol. Before leaving the terminal, all trucks are inspected to verify that all goods have been duly discharged and the trucks are weighed again to check the tear. Some procedure is applicable to ethanol, although prior to transferring the product to the inflammable wagons, the ethanol is inspected by companies to certify that the ethanol is within standards requested by buyers. After loading, the wagons with sugar or ethanol follow to respective terminals in Paranaguá. Then they will finally be loaded on vessels that will take it throughout the world. It is after quality control efforts, high diligence and a lot of dedication that the ethanol and sugar made by Usina de Açúcar Santa Teresinha goes to Brazil and the world.